Uh, all right, hello everybody. This is the Pokemon Sapphire any percent glitchless race between Mockwing and Wave Warrior. Uh, Mockwing, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah, sure thing. Hi, I'm Mockwing. I'm a uh, mainly a Gen 3 speedrunner, and Sapphire has been like my primary game for the past year. I'm Wave Warrior. I play Pokemon games occasionally fast. Not today, though. <laughs> <laughs> um... My name's Blue Magma. Uh, I am also a Pokemon speedrunner. 99% uh, of the time, it is this game. Um, I will be commentating today uh, the race between these two. Uh, Wave Warrior, you might know him as the world record holder of this game. Uh, Mockwing, also, you know, a top competitor. Um, I believe sixth or seventh on the current leaderboard. Um, Sounds so worse are, than it is. Something He's like that. Record pace several times. <laughs> Yeah, there are a, all three of us. Top level yeah. is insanely competitive. Um, anything in the top ten is crazy good. So um, this can really be anybody's race. Uh, two insanely skilled players of this game. Um, and yeah, do we have anything else we want to talk about before we start? No. Uh, I think I'm ready to get into it. All right. Um, if everyone's got their options and everything ready, um, I'll do a, a countdown and we'll start on go. Um, all right. Three, two, one, go. So, for those of you that are familiar with any of the uh, Hoenn speedruns, um, even, you know, the Oras speedruns in Gen 6, uh, we're going to see Mudkip used um, as the kind of primary main for the uh, majority of the run, uh, at least till the uh, late game. Unlike Oras, we don't have um, access to a Latios or a, a Latios in the mid game, um, so we're pretty much going to be rocking this Mudkip. Uh, all the way until we get to the legendary uh, Kyogre. Um, Kyogre will kind of carry us through the end game. Um, if you've played any other uh, Gen 3 speedruns, or maybe Gen 4 speedruns even, uh, you might know about RNG manipulation um, for a starter. Uh, generally a one-frame trick um, or one-frame manip, which is no different in this game. Um, both runners are going to be saving and resetting just before the starter bag um, and then are going to have to time their input choosing the starter um, at a one frame window at 60 frames per second so a little bit less than 17 milliseconds uh, which is definitely not easy uh, so really right off the bat in this run within the first couple minutes uh, we're going to see quite a bit of um, potential for um, an early lead to take place uh, depending on how fast um, either of the runners happens to get that frame perfect input. We both just get it like 7th try. That's I disagree. definitely a possibility. Um, I know in my run um, yesterday on the marathon it was probably about 7th or 8th try. Um, so it's definitely not easy. Um, at all there, but sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll get it first try. Sometimes you'll get it fifteenth try. Sometimes it's somewhere in the middle. Um, it really just depends. Um, I'll I'll be quiet once they start doing the minute just to let them focus. But one thing to note is you can sort of tell which mudkip you got based on some of its stats and um, HP. Um, but it's a little bit more complicated than that, which I'll get into after. Also, there's usually a encounterless element to this minute. But I'm only gonna go for that in like an extremely rare case. Okay, I got first try. 
<laughs> Wave nice. Warrior, God Gamer, getting his uh, first try with Mudkip. I'm not going for uh, Extended, though. Didn't didn't get the rare case, uh, but I got a second try. Nice. First try versus second try. Very, honestly, very very good. There are times where you know you'll go for several minutes, um, not getting a mudkip if you're just if you're off on a given day or anything like that. Um, it's about twenty seconds per attempt. -ish. Yeah. Yep. So I'd say there's about a twenty second gap between. Uh, wave and Mockwing now, so really not much at all. Could be made up by um, a couple random encounters. Um, as as Wave and Mockwing mentioned, there's an encounterless manip. Uh, what that means is you can use RNG manipulation to walk through all of Route 101 and Route 103, getting to the Rival 1 fight uh, without getting any encounters. Uh, the problem with this uh, with the problem with doing this is on a marathon is a little bit complicated. Um, you basically don't know if you got the manip or not until after rival one. Exactly. You, with, you there's might an think, asterisk on that, but that's yeah. the gist of it. You might think that, oh, you can just tell that you got the mud kit based on the HP, the gender, um, and then just go from there. But there are actually two mud kips um, right next to each other on each, uh, on frame one and two, we'll say. Uh, the frame one is the one that you want, and the frame two is the one that you, is not runnable. But they have the exact same gender, they have the same HP, um, and they generally do the same amount of damage to the Puchina. Um, so you can kind of get jebated a little bit. No um, way. By I, that. I, I just realized I didn't save for rival one, I which is the no no. And then I got crit and missed attack, also I had to heal in fight. Oh no. At a risk five, I guess. And just like that, both runners are um, neck and neck again. So really there's a lot of variance in this game on pretty much every fight. Um, not every fight, but quite a lot of fights have a lot of potential variants. Um, and yeah, this is basically tied back up. I'd also like to bring up that the last time I did this run in a marathon, I got about 11th try mudkip. So. <laughs> yep, that was actually, that was a three-person race between me, Mockwing, and Wave Warrior. Um, no, this was, this was like the GDQ event. Yeah, I think that was... Oh, no, it was oh, me it was, and... Or, uh, oh, no, it was you and... It, yeah, it was a bunch of two-person races. It, it yeah. versus Anna. I, it oh, was, yeah, okay, it was Anna. I remember. But all, yeah, all three of us were also involved in that event, and then it was Anna and Anna yeah. as well. Yeah. So, I'm sitting this one out today, but um, we kind of get a little bit of a rematch, even though it wasn't technically Mockwing and Wave racing last time. Did I race an emerald? I don't remember that either. I don't remember. I think it was Amoeba. It was. Um, yeah, so <laughs> as uh, they both mentioned, neither of them saved for the rival one fight. Um, Wave Warrior almost got heavily punished for it. Uh, if he died on that fight, he would have had to um, do the entire Mudkip Manip again, which, um, if he didn't get first try again, could lose a lot of time. And even if he did get first try, that's a whole lot of text boxes and. I wouldn't stuff. have to. Uh, I forgot to save for Calvin. With no potion. Okay, this <laughs> one's actually a problem. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's not a problem if you die to Rival 1, but this one's a problem. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, this would take a really long time. We're if fine. He... He's just going to only sure. use Tail Whip. I'm not going to miss. Um, for those of you that have run Emerald or seen speedruns of Emerald, um, this Calvin fight is way, way, way harder in this game. Go. Okay. I'm only dead to lose speed tie tackle crit. Okay, yeah, that. <laughs> As Wave mentioned, um, this is a speed tie 
uh, with this mudkip um, and the Zigzagoon, so it's a 50-50 for who goes first. Uh, so even if you are, you know, one hit away from killing that Zigzagoon, it can still get a uh, finishing hit off on you. Um, it also can spam Growl, which makes the fight very slow and annoying. Can't encounter that the wazoo. Three okay. before Petalberg for me. Yep, I got three as well. So, yeah, Plus the one evil. on the first route and two on the way to rival one. Luckily, both runners are kind of out of the grass. There's not too much variance from this point on with getting extra wild encounters. Um, we get repels here. There are, there are a couple places, which we'll point out later, um, that can still give you wild encounters. Um, but for the most part, that that sort of RNG aspect is, is done. Um, and yeah, now we're just going into kind of the, the battle tutorial. Just gonna see Wally get a impossible Ralts. Um, yeah. Are you doing it. Wingle Extended? No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it would have been cool to try left. Yeah. Uh, we that just, it does it one. not work anymore or something? I kind of just stopped uh, attempting it, uh, or at least my version of it, because I like there were things that I needed to fix, and like the edge cases where you're close but you don't get it are awful. Yeah. Is yeah, that a sand I... attack? Like a miss into sand? <laughs> yep. Yeah, like things like that. I would hit that frame all the time. Yep. Yeah, I kind of also stopped using it. Not because I didn't like it, but because my offsets like got changed and I just haven't been mm -hmm. uh, motivated enough to really go Did back and do wingle practice. Do any of it. Uh, no, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, no killing Ralts. No shinies. This really sucks. Yeah, nothing cool. Gotta get um, the shiny Kyogre. Yeah. I don't even know what that looks like. It's like pink. Pink, interesting. It's a, it's a okay shiny, it's not bad. Kinda like inverts the blue and the red, I guess. Um, yeah. Might be pink and green. Yeah, some of, some of you in the audience might know the meme about the Ralts dying. Um, for those that don't, there is a very, very small chance that Wally can kill the Ralts in the um, catch cutscene. It can't really happen in the glitchless run, um, just because of how the RNG frames lined up. Um, I did go through and look <laughs> to see if there were any frames that might be reasonable. Um, but with with task level luck, um, Wally can kill the Ralts and save, you know, about 30 seconds by skipping the rest of that cutscene. Bad news, I lost 8 frames by getting the slowest path. Oh, so did I. Yep. <laughs> So yeah, both runners completed their Wingle Minute first try. Um, this, you know, catching a, a flying type, pretty common in a lot of these speedruns to use fly later on. Um, this one has an added bonus though, uh, which we'll see in a few minutes here. Um, assuming the Aqua Pooch fight doesn't give either of them too much trouble. Um, <laughs> if if we complained about Calvin a little bit, we would we complain about this one ten times more. Um, this Puchina uses a random move every turn um, and has Sand Attack, which one of the most annoying moves ever. Uh, it's hey, also got a sand attack. of the Devil. <laughs> it's my second time <laughs> dealing with this today. It's a five hit KO as well, so lots of opportunities to miss. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on! Crit me from eight. 
Wave Warrior taking the first death of the race. I died here in Emerald as well. <laughs> I'm still alive. Oh, whew. okay. Got the misses out early. Clutched up late. Red turn one. All right, we should save and reset for Aqua Pooch. Yeah, the man, the man up. <laughs> <laughs> so Mockwing through the uh, through the Aqua Pooch fight. Nice. A few misses. Um, definitely not a great fight, but he did survive at least. Uh, you might see him, you know, walk a step and then run a step past those. Um, NPCs, those trainers, um, does it here as well, although a little bit differently. Um, that is a consistent way, at, in this game at least, to avoid um, a lot of a, a lot of different spinners uh, consistently without them being able to see you. Through. Actually, health-wise, we're having a very lucky run, because, like, Crit Trico, like, basically didn't take damage on Zigzagoon, so I haven't potioned yet. I've potioned twice, and I'm only at half HP. Yeah, Mockwing has a very good potion count here. Uh, wave Can a little bit crit low. Geo, dude? <laughs> uh, we'll see. Yeah. Okay, thank God. Mm. Yeah, this this swap wingle strategy to bring Geo Dude to one shot health. It's a really cool strategy. Uh but just like the the ways it can backfire are so cursed. That you can if something goes wrong you can lose a lot of time and that's just like Wingle uh not dying in two hits. Uh if Geo Dude misses a tackle, that's also very bad. Uh, but also, if you crit your water gun, your run is technically over at that point. And also, if your Wingle gets crit by tackle turn one, then you're also going to lose, like, an eternity. Yep, exactly. Um, we need all the experience on Mudkip, so if Wingle crits, it splits the EXP, and that's a problem. Yep, we need, yeah, we need the Mudkip to level up at uh, pretty specific points in the in the run. And any any less XP, and that's not going to happen. Um, so Mockwing now through the second gym trainer, uh, Wave Warrior will just kind of be mashing Water Gun until he's through the first gym trainer. Um, so small lead for Mockwing, um, but definitely, um, I'd say maybe about a minute, if that. Um, definitely not too big of a lead at this point. Um, and rock span can be a pain, so... Not only a pain, but deadly, too. Yes. We we just, like, a crit at the wrong time. Yeah. I don't want to say any crit, but almost any crit um, can, can kind of just kill... Um, I'll say that any crit time. is bad. Getting crit at full HP is... Still awful. Yeah, it's you very throw down bad. all your potions. <laughs> yes, it's very bad to get crit. Still, maybe savable if you're lucky, um, but I would say 99% of the time a crit will just end your run on this fight. Mon magic. Oh, I need the magic crit. It's okay. I didn't get it. I forgot to save again. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, All saving right. time. Wave taken the risky strat already of not saving to try to save some... I just keep for... I never save for Roxanne. I don't know what it is, but I always forget to save for her. It's okay, we'll, we'll pretend it was part of the plan. Yeah, this never punishes me. I'm fine. So yeah, Wave hoping for the magic crit here, which... He's just gonna miss Rock Tomb a lot. 
<laughs> the magic crit is just doing a normal water gun turn one and then getting a critical hit water gun turn two and that will uh, generally two hit KO the nose pass um, which skips all of Roxanne's potions she has two of them um, which are very slow and annoying to deal with uh, wave not getting it either your turns to crit here one turn to crit here All right, just don't crit me. Yeah, we're really not getting much good stuff on right. that fight, but he is through. Both All right, I saved time. Survive. I'm not saving. All planned. Save time. Uh, right there, you saw Mockwing kind of just flash the pause menu. Uh, after doing that movement and then just going right past. Um, spinners in this game have cycles where they can turn um, after a certain amount of frames. Um, and by doing certain movements, you can kind of uh, manipulate those cycles. And by pausing right as you enter that tile, um, you know that a cycle has just happened. And if the spinner has turned to look at you, well, then you can't go past um, because they're looking at you. Um, but if they're not looking at you, you know that you still have time before the next cycle um, to walk past. And that saves quite a few seconds compared to uh, what we call a bag minute, which is opening your bag um, when a spinner's not looking in your direction and then closing the bag and then walking past. Um, that's a really easy- I got a skiddy. Way. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> That's 1%. Hey, one shot's in Torrent. I think it's... That, that's a range. <laughs> Most right, cool. times. I, I still haven't gotten my experience kill. Yeah, very, very rare encounter there. Alright, time to fight Jose for HP EVs. <laughs> Wait, did that I realize that it's actually game? just safer to, to fight Jose in a race if you have Torn. Yeah, I'm actually like, gonna fight him anyway. That's but, true. Uh, uh, I forget actually, does Skitty give HP or Skitty speed? Um, uh, I'm gonna check. Skitty is speed. Okay, no more. I would have never guessed speed. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Um, we see that both runners fought a wild encounter uh, in this section, even though they both have repels. Uh, you might be wondering why don't they just repel. Um, any encounter here will give you just enough XP to evolve into Marsh Stomp uh, after this next fight. So it lines up pretty well, and then each of them just repel after they get that one encounter. But it's a little bit fast. It's it's pretty much the fastest way to get that extra little bit of XP. Uh, without I already fight three anything. optional trainers who only have Geodudes, because Geodudes are easy to kill. Yeah. Geodude is a fantastic source of XP, honestly. Um, in this in this game. Uh, at least for the early game. You Oko them with Water Gun really easily. Um, yeah, they're they're pretty pretty straightforward. I I actually got like a circumstance that you don't normally get every run. I killed a Wismer and I fought Jose, so later on I'm gonna have one more HP than usual after the the rival two fight, which may come into play to like give me a safe get, amount of you get HP. Get the God HP. If you get the exact yeah. right roll from uh, <laughs> from Grove Isle, if you get hit yeah. to exactly 15 HP on Grove Isle. <laughs> Very rare circumstance. I think it's happened to me maybe once or twice in runs. Um, so yeah, it's similar for me. It happens. Yeah. It's like the stars align. Yeah, because normally, I mean, uh, there's a faster <laughs> a optional fight thing. to take. Yeah. Yeah. 
And it never works anyway. Meditate always hits you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Meditites are like my moral enemy actually in this game. It's... But if you just happen to get the exact 21 out of 63, you can be in Torrent and also not dead to Sonic Boom. And save one menu. <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> Just like the other Gen 3 uh, speedruns, there's a lot of um, trying to keep Torrent HP uh, for that 50% water damage boost, um, while also staying out of kill range of a lot of uh, trainers. Um, both players evolved to Marsh Stomp now. Um, both players done with Route 116. Uh, I'd say that there's, yeah, Mockwing still in the lead, but. Um, probably still less than a minute um, from what it looks like so definitely anybody's race uh, next up will be Brawly that's the um, next gym leader um, that we fight unlike Emerald we fight Brawly right away um, just kind of the way that the the XP works um, it's it's better to fight him earlier rather than later uh, but doing so means that Brawly is much scarier of a fight. There is a lot that can go wrong. Um, Brawly kind of one of the big three, honestly. When when you ask a, a Sapphire runner, like, oh, who kills a lot of your runs? Brawly is definitely up there, I would say. In terms of raw odds, it's top five, but in terms of percent of runs that it kills almost certainly top three because of how early in the run it is. Yeah. Yeah. Goku just also top three. Might be like top two. Yeah. <laughs> There's literally a death in this race. Yeah. Yeah, you, you have to do uh, eight attacks with Jose. That's right. Yes. I was wondering why my money was different. I don't remember. Yeah. Unless you, yeah, sell another thing or something. Slightly better anyway, since we'll get an extra super potion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I probably would have done that anyway, even without Jose, to be honest. Uh, Mockwing is now going to set up for his Abramanip. Um, very went on as a medium. Very nice manip in this game. Um, if you haven't seen speedruns of this this specific game in a few years, uh, this might seem kind of new to you. Uh, the old route was called Abrilis, um, or a lot of people call it Abrilis. Uh, the new route developed probably two or three years ago now. It was 2021. Um, I'm pretty sure because it. Well, I know that GDQ 2020 used Averless. Okay, so after 2020 at least, then. Um, it would have been, like, beginning of the year 2020. So it was either developed late 2020 or early 21. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this new route has a Abra. Um, let's us teleport around to our last used healing location, which um, generally will be a Pokemon Center. Um, and we'll see that... Um, in maybe 10 minutes or so. Depends on how long uh, these fights take. Depends on how bad the RNG is. Oh yeah, so like before we even sailed to Duford, there's an optional beach potion that, like, sometimes you grab on runs just because, like, you're actually just, like, low. And you need it because you need, like, the ideal number you want to at least have is two. But I... Better to be extra safe during you a marathon, like so I just grabbed it anyway. Don't you? No, I, I ended up having to use one on Roxanne and, and before. So right now, I with the beach potion, I have three. Gotcha. Which is... Two. A good number. Yep, three is generally pretty safe unless you get some really bad stuff, like 
very uncommon to use uh, more than three um, for these next couple sections. Uh, Mockwing now entering the Laura fight. Um, Meditite shows up a couple times in this run. Uh, has Mockwing uh, in his bed. Oh, very, you're very kidding annoying. me, right? You got confused. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, knew it. God. It's that so is confusing. that sucks. Oh my god. This okay. is giving me flashbacks to. All right, making okay. a comeback. Do I? Fight. I mean, I have to heal this for sure. Well, now you have two potions. But it's... <laughs> yeah. But I can't even heal to full off of this. Oh, yep. Jeez, <laughs> where are you at? 46. I'm at forty-six. Slightly better than like the usual forty-four yeah, off of a confusion. I to, well, I don't need to save for meditate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll save for Brawler, I'll remember back. that one. Oh, I, I died to Laura um, when we did our GDQ race. That was. Oh, no cool. way. I, I forgot that that had happened. <laughs> I was like, what do I do? And then I think like one of the commentators was like, I guess go back to Abra. Yeah, you have to reset to Abra there. You have no other option, really. Yeah. I mean, I guess you just spent all your money, so it's not... <laughs> If you want to make okay. the, the boat trick. That was a really good munch shot roll. Get bulk yep. up. Uh, I got karate chop turn one into bulk up. Oh, uh, lucky. Yeah, I mean, yeah. considering you got confused, I guess it evens out. <laughs> yep. Alright. Uh, Mach wing through the first mon of Brawly. Wave Warrior just now entering that first mon. Um, Ooh, no heal range. Let's go. Peter. Mach wing got a... Uh, like a three turn Machop with the X attack and then Mudshot Mudshot. Um, this Machop loves using bulk up turn one, which is what we saw on Wave's side. Um, it's gonna most likely oh turn Oh god, what wave. is that? I think that's Water, water Gun. Turn. Okay, well, it's definitely Water Gun now. It looks like Water Gun, yeah. Oh, uh, dumbass. Alright, easy. <laughs> <laughs> bulk up into Seismic Toss. Let's go. Nice. Uh, 16 HP for Makuhita, so pretty likely to be fine. That does not heal range. Just use bulk up. Alright. Okay. Oh. I had a slightly slower fight. It yep. was fine. One extra turn for uh, Wave Warrior with, you know, a couple extra text boxes with that bulk up. Um, yeah, but I had the better Meditite, so... Yeah. Honestly, not dying for either of these runners on Brawly is uh, great to see. It's like 30% yeah. to kill you. It's, like, it's bad. I mean, both yeah. first try, though, is... Yeah, like, no, I, like yeah, I'm just... Yeah. 30 Pretty good. so bad. Yeah. And Norman's like 35 or 40 or something, and then... Yeah. And Flannery's like 80% for Magma. <laughs> Dude, I, it's supposed to be like 40% to use a track, and I feel like it's like 10%. I like, never see a track. Well, I mean, that's I not true, but I. Them. Yeah, I see by this one way more often. Yeah. Yeah, Flanner, Flanner is just annoying. Because it's not even an interesting fight. You yeah. <laughs> just hit mu just spam mud shot yep. and hope things yeah. work. Also, I, I picked up an extra ether on the beach, which is not a normal part of the glitchless route. It's just like a, a safety strat since, like, you could run out of mud shots. Uh, but also, there's uh, a situation later on in the game where your surf count, depending on like a number of factors, can be like wildly low, even too low for like what you would need for the end game. So if that happens I have something to back that up yeah very good point um, yeah running out of surfs can definitely be a concern um, especially depending on how your Winona fight goes how your Tate and Liza fight goes I can't remember exactly where it was so I didn't get it wave opted for the uh, I'm doing the double revive. revive strat which acts as a single revive yeah <laughs> Because for most of the run where the revive is actually useful, both of your slaves are dead anyway. So, uh, if you have the revive, that doesn't help you. So you need to get a second revive 
to revive a backup thing that you can send in in order to use the first revive if you need it. True. I, I was thinking I had a literal max roll tackle on Zubat, but I just remembered I'm actually just level 18 early from Jose EXP. Okay, yeah, I was, I was about to ask, do you normally get level 18 for Zubat? <laughs> no. Hey, I saw a torrent. 19 out of 57, exact. Uh, still a very close race, honestly. Not not too much of a difference here. I'd say Mockwing is maybe 40 seconds ahead, um, if that. Oh, I, uh, I do way more damage because I'm level 18. <laughs> that jump point is pretty is pretty big. Yeah. As a mechanic in basically every Pokemon game, where when you level up to a level ending with 0, 3, 5, or 8, you get more of a boost than any other level, just due to how the rounding works out. So 17 to 18 is a big boost in power, whereas 18 to 19 is fairly small. Yeah, and that actually, that plays a, a factor in quite a few of the fights. You know, we have to plan out, okay, when are we actually hitting level 18? Um, because that might make certain fights um, doable. Whereas even if you're level 17, you know, it only seems like a one level difference, but it actually um, changes so much. Um, Rival 2, which we'll see. Yeah, it's, it's why you have to do Brawly early, so mm -hmm. that you get level 18 for Rival 2. Uh, Mockwing just now entering that fight. Um, this used to be notorious for being one of the hardest fights. You know, if you've played this game casually, uh, you might remember this as a really hard fight. Um, but honestly, compared to a lot of the other fights, uh, like we we saw Brawly, um, this fight is relatively tame. There's still things that can go wrong, um, but not as much as um, some of the old routes struggled with this fight. This is scarily close to playing out like my DRS run yesterday did, <laughs> which would not be good because that run didn't finish. Uh -oh. <laughs> I have one potion left now because I had to potion for rival two. Oh, I got 16. Ah, uh, so close. Ah, uh, unlucky. Uh, I can crit by tackle on turn one. Not again? <laughs> I think Mockwing got crit turn two, maybe? He definitely yeah. got crit by the Numa one. Crit into five. Alright, and Mockwing's through the Grovile. Uh, the scariest... Mon in this fight. Yeah, th this fight has interesting routing because even after next, basically absorb causes issues because <laughs> if we hit it and then he absorbs back to full health, we've made no progress and absorb hurts. Um, so we intentionally remain slower than Grovile on our first hit, and then the guaranteed speed fall from Mudshot makes us faster on our second hit. Yeah, it's a it's a really cool fight. Um, this this game honestly has a lot of cool um, routing strategies for for some of the fights, uh, like the Wingle Strat that we saw earlier uh, yep. to take out that Geo dude, and then yeah, the Rival Two fight is pretty interesting as well. Uh, both runners through Rival Two, no issues. Um, so yeah, if either of those absorbs, um, or if if that first absorb crits you. Um, you will just die. It, it always one-shots you, even from uh, full HP. Um, and if you miss either your mud shots uh, slash tackles, um, that's pretty much also a guaranteed death, because then um, Groval will just use Absorb again and kill you. Finally, to the left, I, I, my favorite section. Forgetting how to pass that spin. Passing that spinner was really awkward when you're also picking up the revive. Yeah, yeah, very true. Yeah. <laughs> um, you might have noticed Wave Warrior used Tackle uh, turn two on the Grovile instead of using Mudshot twice like Mockwing did. 
Uh, depending on the damage you do with the first mud shot, uh, you can guarantee that tackle will kill turn two, which avoids the not very effective text um, and saves a mud shot for um, this Watson split. Um, so if you can get it, it's a little bit faster. Um, and they're equally risky because both Tackle and Mudshot are 95% accurate in this game. A lot of 95% moves that you <laughs> really, really need to hit. There are quite a few times where you miss a 95% and there goes your uh, Marsh Dumps life. So, quite a lot of that. So, I didn't get the God HP that I was hoping for, but uh, because of that, I took another safety strat that is like, it's kind of safe, but can be kind of annoying depending on uh, some fight AI between Watson and Will Trainer Brooke. Uh, I took the center and healed a full to like make this gym a lot safer. Like basically, I, I can't die in this gym. It's going to be impossible. But because my health is so high, uh, I'm probably not going to take enough damage before Watson to the point where the Magnemite is going to want to supersonic me, which could get bad. Oh, no way. This meta type confused me, too. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Confusion is 10% to confuse you, by the way. And it's only 25% to even use it. And I can't believe I got it turn one on both sides. And then you did hit yourself on either, right? I hit myself on uh, the first oh, you one. Hit, hit yourself on one second. Yeah. You want a crit water gun? Oh, cool. I actually got Sonic Boom. No. Alright, so actually my, my HP is like way, way better than... Uh, I was thinking it would be 35 out of 65. Whoops. So now me dying in this gym is actually like back in play point. under extremely rare circumstances. And by extremely rare, I mean like one mud shot miss at the wrong time. Oh my god! Did you miss mud shot right as you said that? Yeah, <laughs> into another sonic boom. So I have to, I have to push him before, uh... Don't, don't do it. Awesome. Okay, good. I'm out of, uh... I'm out of potions, so I got Sonic Boom. Like, if I take two Sonic Booms here, I'll live on one, basically. And then I have to do Risky CTB. So I would like that to, uh... Not happen. Just don't miss much up. At least, even in the worst case scenario where we die to Watson here, we don't necessarily need a save because we enter the center in the city, so we'll just respawn outside. Even if, like, something goes terribly awry. Wow, I well, still... I also have revive, so if I die, I don't, like, need the X speed, as long as I don't die too early in the fight. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not gonna die early in the fight. I saw Supersonic from 35, but in the d rust run, I got Sonic Boom from 47. Nice. Make it make sense. <laughs> I'm at 41 right now. Supersonic is really annoying here, because we really want that full heal for later. Yeah. There's... Yeah, I got uh, Sonic Boom. Just don't there was a safety through. strat for this scenario, that I, which was like getting the person berries early but I'm not practiced at all with that movement, so I'm, I'm well, just that's gonna, interesting. gonna yellow. Where are the prisms early? Like, to the side of Lynette's house. The... Okay. that right. house. Right, right, yeah. yeah, 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 okay. I thought you were saying you could get them before Watson. Oh, yeah. no, I wish. They are both through Watson. Honestly, yeah, this says... Mid-42, good Watson time. Yeah. In Emerald. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the... The uh, the gap might have closed a little bit. Uh, still a very close race, honestly. 
looks like it's still about 30 to 40 seconds. Um, so you know, one one good fight on wave side or one bad fight on this is basically side. dead even. Yeah, um, <laughs> there's early so nerf shuffle would help unfortunately because the the fight we would need the full heal on is Archie one. This is right before you get into the city. Yeah, Archie one's the problem. Also, my favorite part of one of my favorite parts of Sapphire is that, unlike the rest of the Gen 3 games, all your HMs and like special moves go above summary and oh, rest of that stuff in okay. the Pokemon menu. That's why. My report were out early, I was trying to figure out why I forgot to get strength. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, that's... that's annoying. I don't have a repel. I have to repel for this now. So. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually gonna save uh, on this repel before the spinner pass. You can't teleport <laughs> from inside a cave, right? Nah. That is correct. Ooh, okay. Well, that was lame. <laughs> I was like, my repel was supposed to wear out by now. What's happening? <laughs> Okay, I just get no encounters. Easy. That spinner pass is like one of the most nerve wracking passes in the entire run. Right before you enter. What's this cave called? It's not Mount Ember, right? No. It's... Uh, I don't know. I got the 10% encounter. Ah. Is there any benefit to killing it? <laughs> I don't. Ah, they nah, it. I don't think so. Oh yeah, so in the the Aberlis run, oh, this fight used to be much, much scarier, but now we we have strength early, we bring an extra X attack, so we just use the X attack on Wingle and then strength the entire fight. Oh yeah, fiery path, thank you, Tucker. Yeah, we're just now doing that, uh, first run to bike. Uh, we'll see quite a few of those uh, throughout the rest of the run. Uh, it's a really quick way to um, pass some of the more tricky spinners uh, in this game. Uh, some of them we can kind of just walk and then run like we saw in the early game. Um, but some spinners will turn to, to look in the at your direction um, yeah, when, you, when you run a couple oh, no. tiles before them. I'm fine, uh, but... Which means we can't walk past them without them seeing us. Um, but we can do a trick where we run, immediately get on the bike, and then go past, um, and that will allow us to pass the spinner safely again, um, just like we would before. Um, but it lets us pass those kind of more annoying spinners. Mockwing finishing up his shopping section. Uh, this new route, the Abra route, um, is not done shopping. This is the last official Pokemart, though, um, that we'll actually go into, um, unless Mockwing ends up doing some backup strats later on. Um, but in the in the in the usual route, uh, you don't do any more Pokemarts for the rest of the run, which is a nice time save compared to the old route where you would have had to also take the Pokemon, uh, you would have had to take the Pokemart in uh, Mosky. Do you sell Shockwave? Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> uh, Shockwave is very important for the uh, end game when we get Kyogre. Um, so selling that is basically a run over if you do it accidentally. Um, hopefully neither of the runners did that on accident. There's always Thunderbolt and Newmaville. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's the backup. Or fight rival, you know, four and get, isn't Eight. Thunder there? Yeah. Yeah. Department uh, store. That's the route we need to <laughs> need to come up with. Surely it's worth it. Um, yeah, there are, in this game there are quite a few uh, good moves hidden in the department store uh, in Lily Cove City. Holy. Um, unfortunately, there is a rival battle that blocks you from entering the department store. Um, I, so oh not, my god. Sorry, you, you know I'm the... Uh... Idiot. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, good thing I picked up extra ethers. Mockwing missing the first... Uh, being the first one to miss a run to bike this run. Um, so you know that run to bike right before Meteor Falls, where you, you know get off the bike, run a couple files? I had like yeah. a frame perfect bonk get off the bike start running. It was the fastest I've ever seen it. <laughs> I had to stop and reset because I was not ready for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've done that once or twice and it's like, oh my god, like I was not even my hands weren't even ready to press select. I, I somehow forgot mid biker pass that I had to load Manip to avoid the other hiker because for some reason I was thinking Emerald Movement, even though I didn't even participate in that race earlier because of <laughs> internet issues. So I, I tried to take my time and then it, it still hit me in the ass and I still hit the optional. Well, I made it past the optional, so you're still winning. Yeah, that, that lead uh, definitely closed now though. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> now it's even closer of a race. Uh, if we thought I it was just left for the cable car. Yeah, I would say this is maybe 20 seconds of a gap now. Um, so very, very close. This extra defensive EV is going to be useful somewhere. You feel it? What is he, a Geodude Machop? Yeah. I mean, it's always Geodude Machop. It's like a classic hiker combo. Yep. In Rock Tunnel of Hardly Green, there's uh, three Geodudes and a Machop. And uh, on the way to Bill's house, there's Machop and then Geodude. I have missed Mudshot on the first Carvana and gotten scary faced. Oh boy. This is a. Well, I'm really glad I didn't Super Potion for 11 to play around exactly this. <laughs> <laughs> kind of an awkward fight there. Um, Mockwing just now done with that. Okay. I'm actually going to save for Archie because I don't have that full heal. I would say for Archie regardless. <laughs> yeah, kidding? Archie can I mean, yeah, actually definitely kill you uh, with a, a poorly timed crit. Okay, um, I'm fine. Actually, yeah, what am I talking about? I actually died to Archie in, in the D-Rust yesterday. Yeah, yeah nothing for, for Archie poorly is insane crit. to me. <laughs> uh, what you'll see Mockwing do here is um, he'll have he'll lead off with his Abra, uh, or Wingle. So this one Wingle, yeah, because I um, took the center. Yeah, normally you would only have Abra alive, um, but here he sends out Wingle because it won't get super effective text uh, when it gets killed by Bite. Um, but he's going to use this turn to sacrifice Wingle and set up a guard spec, um, which will last a few turns um, and means that you cannot get any of your stats dropped. Um, the reason you lead with Wingle is to set that up without taking damage on Marsh Dump, um, but it also means you don't get intimidated um, because you're not leading with Marsh Dump. Yeah, it's really important to not get intimidated. Your little sound. Of course you wouldn't. Mockwing got a very unlucky start to the Mightyena. Uh, so the AI doesn't really know when you have a guard spec active. It doesn't really adjust uh, according to that. So this Mightyena um, has a 
pretty even chance to either bite or sand this attack. Be a problem, actually. The lower health you are, the more likely he is to bite. Yeah. Miss? Um, no, dude. Okay, we're just gonna hope I win. Okay, nice. Oh boy. I like mineral strength, but I got two sands, so I'm good. Okay. Maybe I break out on Torpedo. Oh, you're I'm confused. Mockwing oh, is confused going oh, into Torpedo. Oh, how many times have you gotten confused? He like, will die if he hits himself here. Where's your full heal? Yeah. I, I used it on Metatype earlier. Huh. I crit yeah. Okay, is that heal range? I don't think that's heal range. Then no way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, We're good. <laughs> yeah. This fight has a little bit of variance in the strat that you do. Um, Wave Warrior set up 2x attacks on the um, Mighty Inna to avoid, or to make it less likely that you get supersonic by the Golbat. Um, but what that means is you have to do tackle into strength instead of strength. Strength will put it in heal strength. range a lot of the time. Yep. Um, but tackle crit can also put it into heal range sometimes. Yeah, it's a range. Um, yeah. so you kind of have to be able to read the roll, look at how much HP that Golbat has left, um, because if it heals, you're going to want to, you know, tackle again and then strength. Yeah, you don't want to strength if it's going to heal, because then you're just going to put it back in heal range. He has two super potions. Yep, exactly. See, there's the sand attack I needed. Um, yeah, that death from Mockwing was, you know, I mean, that was at the literal last turn of the fight, so that was a big chunk of time lost there. Uh, Wave is definitely taking the lead. Um, pretty significantly now. The entire reason that fight is bad, by the way, is because Sharpedo doesn't die to a plus one mud shot. Uh, it's this one. Okay. I have to remember the layout here. Uh, anyway. Nope. If, uh, if Sharpedo died to mud shot, uh, that fight would be very trivial. You just do one X attack and you're good, basically. But it's a... I believe it's a 24% range. Yeah, something very low. And it deals Just over half your health, health if you don't kill it. So, yeah. yeah. Alright, Mockwing also threw the RG1 fight after one death. A wave just now, saving for Flannery. If Sharpedo died, you just 1x attack, 2-shot Mighty Enna, 2-shot uh, Golbat, Golbat, one shot Torpedo, and it, it would be a very easy fight. Yeah, it'd be pretty nice, honestly. But because you have to set up two X attacks, it causes all sorts of problems. Time to turn this into a uh, Gen 4 style route where we manipulate Oh, uh, don't it. poison me. Alright. <laughs> I forgot that you're supposed to set the attack in the second Slugma, but I wasn't punished. Okay. There's also so, the yeah. extremely cursed version of the Maxi fight where you... Like, you still have to set up the second X attack, but you accidentally crit strength the Golbat. And then you're oh gonna... yeah, that one's cursed. Because then you're you're forced into going for it. Although, if you're critting Golbat, there's a decent chance that you can tank a crunch, but sometimes you can't. And then that's when it's, yeah, you gotta go for the range or you die. Yeah. Oh god, really? Body slam paralyze. 34. It was 33 to 39, right? Yeah. yeah. Alright. You be I believe in you, buddy. You can do it. Okay. Belief works. I had an extra super potion, so... I was able to, uh, recover that. The desert candy's not a thing in this game. <laughs> I, have to, I have to keep my games <laughs> apart. Yeah, um, balancing um, being a you know a high level runner of emerald and sapphire, it's kind of tricky. The mechanics carry over pretty well, um, but really it's there's those small differences, um, kind of like glitched versus glitchless, um, where that muscle memory can really get mixed up in your. Uh, in your head or in your in your hands. I also haven't played this game for like a year. <laughs> Wave Warrior, yeah, has been taking a well-deserved break from this game. Um, 
being the first runner to get a 156. Um, yeah, very, very impressive run. Um, he's moving on to bigger and better games than this one. Um, not that this game is is bad or anything, but it is. It is a little <laughs> bit bad. <laughs> Just slightly evil. Okay, hit through a trap. Let's go. Yeah, people used to call the Avrilis throughout the world record route, but now they have to call it Avrilis. Yep. Wait, no, I don't want to do that yet. Okay. Damn how this game works. Um, yeah, so we're seeing the benefits of Abra here. Um, Wave being able to teleport right back to Mauville and then doing some very clean movement there uh, to dodge <laughs> some of those spinners. Um, maybe not on that one, but... Yeah, <laughs> he said very clean. I couldn't <laughs> get on the right line. Luckily, that one isn't a trainer, uh, so not too <laughs> bad. Um, but getting, getting to go back to... Uh, Norman's gym very quickly. Once this was some interesting there. routing because the reason for a long time Aberlis was thought to not be world record viable is because the idea at the time was you would have to go down and boat to Duford. And then that's where you would fight um, I don't know why I'm saving for this Aber 5. That's where you'd fight Brawly at that point. That's the idea. Delay Brawly, boat to Duford, fight him there, and then boat to Petalburg. That's what you do in Emerald. Um... But the problem is that just loses too much time over the Aberlis route. And so the the uh, the interesting idea is to go left out of uh, Watson City. I blanked on the name. Um, Mauville. Mauville. Mauville, yeah. Uh, and that turns out to be a lot faster than uh, double boating. Oh, hey, singing to growl. I'll take it. Also interesting, this route, or the, like, left out of Mauville, isn't an option in uh, the Japanese version of Sapphire. And that's because the hiker in Rust Earth Tunnel has one more vision than... Yeah, you can't get version. past him. So it just so happens that it works out in uh, English. Yeah, he also has that exhibition in Emerald, also. So, but Emerald, you do late probably for other reasons. It's a much more difficult fight in Emerald. But then, because we do it late, it's trivial. <laughs> oh, why would you miss that much shot, man? Ooh. Okay. Got crit by Lanu, but I'm fine. That's actually so bad. Okay, yeah. Well, this is why I have eight heal powders. Okay. Did you miss on Delcaddy? Yeah, I missed yeah. the second mud shot. Yeah, that's rough. Oh wait, I already used that. Yeah. This this Delcaddy can be really annoying um it starts out being faster than you if you miss that first mud shot you can really just get put in a uh spin cycle of um yeah. getting put to sleep because it uses an x accuracy so those sings are going to be hitting pretty often you heal the sing uh to wake up but then it you know it does something it growls or whatever and then you try to hit it but then because it's still faster than you it sings again you repeat and you... It suffer. also knows attract. Yes, it knows so. attract, um, which makes you 50-50 uh, to not act each turn. Um, 
On top of that, it has cute charm ability, so if you use strength instead of mud shot, there's a 30% chance that it will also trigger the attract. Feels like You're lying. There's You're no way, man. There's no way. Oh, yeah, I like missed this. missed a second mud shot. That's, oh my god. This yeah. might be one of the most... And you might be thinking, like, why would you fight the one with an X accuracy when he knows singing? Sing. And the reason is the other trainer also has a Del Caddy, but it's an X speed. And so it's still faster than you after mud shot. Yeah, so you you run into the exact same issue. Even but it is less likely to hit, but every time it hits, you straight up lose your entire turn. Yep. So and you also don't want to get attracted while you're also slower. Um, actually had heal twice on this fight. This has never happened. Another funny thing is that even after X accuracy, like it X accuracies because it, it likes, like, I mean, quotes around likes to use sing, but uh, it doesn't make that a 100% move still. God, did the slacking hit me for 40, 41, and 42. This trainer heals, doesn't it? Okay, it doesn't. Not Del Caddy, no. No. Okay. I couldn't remember if this class of trainers had, a, like, a healing item. I've been immobilized, like, I think at least six out of eight turns. Yeah, it's crazy. This, it, yeah, it's insane very... to me that you're still on that fight. Like, what is happening? Yeah. I've used four energy roots already, also. I gotta keep an eye on that. Actually need to heal again. Before the next fight. Oh, that's an amazing roll. It's just like the worst thing I've ever seen. I'm so happy that happened. <laughs> uh, oh, God, that's just not dying. Wow. Like, what do I do here? I don't have an extra X attack. I just... Like, oh no. And the uh, tackle, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> tackle would probably heal. Yeah, range. like. <laughs> yeah. Tackle would put in heal range as well. Yeah. As would Rock Smash. Like, I just, I had to go for that. Yeah. Um, oh, e, e, that was. I did super late max ether, so I should be fine. That's a good roll. Yeah. Norman is such oh, a. Oh, come on! Painful fight. Uh, does he have. It knows slack off? What? Yes, it does. Uh. Defense draw. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> that might be your play here. Okay. <laughs> Do it again. Oh, I actually got a 3 2 This is the most cursed actually, fight. Which is also oh not my god, usual. does this kill? Oh. Okay. I... Wow. Oh my god. I. I still have two mud shots, which is what I... Eh, I need three. But, oh no, I have strengths, I think. So I, I should think be... you have one strength at least, yeah. I, I just need three moves between strength and mud shot. Yep. What? Oh my god, I had... That was such a cursed norm. <laughs> yeah. Both runners getting, honestly, really weird Norman splits. Um... Mock wings, I would say, is definitely worse. Oh, his was way worse. It's way not even worse. close. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> by far. Um, yeah, but you know, way way lost a few turns off of it, um, but made it out okay. Much better than dying, honestly. Um, which. Yeah, can very reasonably happen. So yeah, on Mockwing's side, we're gonna see an X defend turn one. Uh, these slackings just do so much damage. Yeah, it, and with X they defend, can they can two shot you if they yeah. roll high. Mm -hmm. It's pretty if rare. They, yeah, if they get really high rolls on both of their facades. Even I with got crit. Attack. Turn one. <laughs> yeah, or yeah. not turn one, but after I had set up like all the uh, attacks. Yeah. Yawn and yeah, yawn into crit. Um, and because crits ignore uh, the stat change or the positive stat changes in this game, um, any crit from that slacking will just kill you um, because it ignores that X defend. 
This is where uh, Abra really saves time, by the way. Like, you lose a lot of time biking back to Norman instead of just death warping, but you save it all back by being able to teleport to, uh, back to Mauville. Mm -hmm. It, like, it, like, goes even, basically. I, okay, I took two steps and got a high-level tentacle. So, yeah, when you repel, you can only repel things that are lower level than you. Uh, and if you watched the glitch run yesterday, you might know that in surf areas, you can get up to level 35 tentacles. Um, and we're only level 30 at this part in the run. Uh, so anything that's, you know, between level 30 and 35 uh, can still show up, even though you use a repel. Uh, it's pretty rare. But... I actually had enough mud shots, so I had to use one there, and so now I only have two. Yeah. Oh, wait. Not bad. I <laughs> I was definitely gonna play the you know that one trainer looking down. I have to go left exactly one tile. I just said screw that. I'm holding full left and blocking the wall. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> the mock bike is really cool in this game uh, to do fast, but it is really hard. Um, yeah, that that section there's like three different trainers where you have to be tile perfect basically. Yep. It's one of them you have two tiles uh, to work with, but the other two are both tile perfect at full speed on the mock bike, but not lose time. Yep, and you're moving one tile every four frames, so you basically have to turn within that four frame window. Yeah, and um, yeah. what's really annoying is a lot of the times you'll, because you're only doing it for one, you know, four frames is your window, you're only doing it for one tile, so you want to hit the button as quickly as possible. Sometimes you'll press it and release it completely in between tiles, so it won't register it. Mm -hmm. And so you'll just keep going the same direction you were going. Alright, Mockwing also through Norman. Finally, after a struggle on Delcaddy and uh, one wipe to the first lacking. I'll be doing the same route of getting Surf here, getting the rare candy, and then teleporting back to Mauville. Um, and then I'll be doing that same tricky movement that Wave Warrior just did. Are you normally level 31 it. for Mighty Yenna? Uh, not usually. Yeah, the, the tentacle gave you an extra level. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it, it actually gives you quite a bit. Doesn't matter that much, just 30 to 31 is not very impactful. Yeah, it like gives you like a, is it what, a 1 in 16 to kill if you have Torrent or something? Something like that. Yeah. Which I've ended up Torrent anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yep. Oh, you don't get an extra level for the important Zubat. You normally level right before that one, I'm pretty sure. The, the 15 and 16. The 15 and 16 yeah. surf one. <laughs> yeah. Which we we choose to have that range also. We could get rid of that range if we equip the Mystic Water early, but it's mm -hmm. more efficient to equip it later. Yeah. Wave taking that bed, which, if you didn't know, um, kind of acts as a fast Pokemon center where it heals all your uh, Pokemon, restores their their moves and all that good stuff. Um, Mockling doing some pretty clean movement there to get into the Weather Institute. Uh, Wave now entering Rival 3, um, which honestly, kind of easier than Rival 2. Um, oh, I forgot, you have to save for this fight. But yeah, there, okay, there I'm still... dead to like magnitude nine crit or something like that. Yeah, there is still a chance to die. Like, um, I should be fine. I shudder with PTSD. 
Like, the, most of the time, this is about as much damage as you take. Yeah. But you can take some really high damage on this fight because of magnitude. Yeah. Magnitude 10 is what, like 150? It's 150, base, I think, yeah. Base power might even be 200. Like it might be 9, that's 150. Yeah, you might be right. Uh, let me check, actually. It, it's a lot. <laughs> okay, it's pretty rare. It's only like 5% or something to do that much, but... Yeah, it's 5% for a magnitude 10, which is 150 base power. Um, magnitude 9 is 110. Um, so it's it's a pretty strong move, but it's, yeah, like what I've said, it's pretty rare to see such a high roll. Um, and even then, magnitude 10 without a crit is really only doing like half of your HP. It does less like than that. half. Yeah. It's close to half, but less, Yeah, I think. It's like 45-ish or something. But then when you factor in focus energy... Yes. Uh, brings it to... Uh, what is it? 1 in 4? Uh, 1 in 8 it should be. Oh, Let's 1 check. in 8. I didn't know if it raised it by 1 or 2 stages. Um, in later gens it becomes 50%. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I gotta get my Yena. I got Swagger. Nice I just used the uh, heal powder. Even though I had the revive, I'm just, I wasn't dealing with that. Yeah. Uh, this was the, the disappearing scientist from earlier. That amoeba showed off. I forgot that he's just in the bookcase. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll save here. I've had at least one run die to this fight. Might have been two. Our wave Warrior doing the last run to bike uh, of the run. So uh, from here on out, the dodging the trainers uh, is uh, relatively easy, or at least easier, um, as long as you you know you're doing proper movement. It's but there's no like tricky techniques anymore. Um, I did that section way cleaner than I thought I would because I haven't done this in like <laughs> six months minimum. Yeah. Yeah, it's that, like riding that, a bike. That section is pretty oh, yeah. Ah, good one. Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> but um, <laughs> very oh, nice. Oh wow, oh, one HP off of being able to manipulate torrent for Winona's gym. Uh, like well, you'll you'll get some extra at level thirty-two, but yeah. Oh yeah, true. But yeah, still very close. You need. 10 or less HP at level 32 in order to line up the HP uh, for Winona to still have the torrent for that Winona fight. Because um, we'll evolve after this uh, Mount Pyre section um, and you get a lot of extra XP or sorry, HP um, mm -hmm. during that evolution. Um, so you might think, oh, 10 HP, that's like easily torrent, but then um, Yeah, you get, you get like 30 or something from the candies plus evolution. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's pretty hard to get oh, Torrent fine. before the Winona fight. Yeah, but it's really nice. You get to guaranteed one shot the Swablu before the fight, and then you're less likely to miss on Swallow is the important thing. Yeah. Uh, yep. It can, yeah. Generally is going to save you at least one or two turns, uh, you have torrent for that fight. Yeah, and it's just straight up faster because you get to skip the X spec, but then you yeah. might. <laughs> if, if you miss the range on Scarberry, it feels bad. Yeah. Winona is a very interesting fight. It's pretty it's pretty hard to play optimally. Um, there are we, two we different... don't know what the best way to play <laughs> Winona is, is the yeah. real answer. It's, it's... Yeah. it's still up in the air. Both options are bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There are two kind of main 
um, ideas or main strategies for Winona, which is using three X attacks, uh, which pretty much lets you one-shot everything, um, or using one X attack, which pretty much lets you um, two-shot everything. Yeah, you, um, you three X attack and one-shot things with strength, or one X attack and two-shot things with strength. Yep. And um, so the number of turns breaks even, all else being equal, but there's so much going on that it, it's not equal. And yeah. the problem with 3x attack is, because uh, the issue isn't setting up, the problem is Altaria is a range with 3x yep. attacks. Yep. Yeah, even at plus 3, Altaria is only a 75% chance to die. Um, and yeah, there's, like Wave said, there's a lot to consider. You want to, um, if you if you didn't use an X spec, you want to keep Torrent. You really need to keep Torrent, or else Skarmory will never die, or yeah, won't die without a crit. Um, and even if you have Torrent, Skarmory is also a 12 and 16 uh, chance to die. Yeah, it's only guaranteed if you have the X special and you're in Torrent. Yep. Um, so yes, staying in Torrent or getting Torrent um, is a big consideration for how many X attacks you want to use. Um, another small benefit is. Pelipper likes to spam protect, uh, so it, only having to actually use a move on him once versus twice um, can help uh, reduce the number of protects that you that you waste a turn on. Oh. It's like, where's my Mystic Water? Never took it off the cast for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. yeah, you mentioned the crit right. chances, right, with 1x attack? Yeah, oh, yeah, when I can attack, you crit, it kills as well. So. Yep. That's nice. I've, the dream over fight. time, I've leaned more and more towards 1x attack. Because 1x attack, you can yeah. also buy an extra super potion earlier in the run. Yep. Which is pretty useful. Yeah, I generally really like 1x attack. Um, just for that top end chance of, like Mockwing said, um, you can you can crit that Pelipper or that Altaria um, and save a turn that way. Um, and then, as Wave said, it makes the it makes the mid game with um, Archie One Flannery a little bit safer too. So this is the like from the end of Winona until um, Archie Two. This is like the only section of the run where Torrent really matters. For, uh, for Swampert in this game. Uh, Torrent, Torrent is usually really important, but in this game, it like this is the only section where it's essential. Whereas in something like, you know, Emerald, you have a lot of sections actually where Torrent is pretty essential. As well as Fire Leaf Green. Fire Leaf Green especially. Once you reach the halfway point, you're basically in torn for the entire rest of the run. But yeah, my HP is really high right now, so I'm going to... It's complicated. I just need to take some amount of damage, which I will. So, should be fine. remembering these gym puzzles quite nicely, I must say. Uh, it's, I, I was really scared <laughs> for uh, Planary and Emerald, and also in this game. So this thing usually uses double team, but can also use Aerial Ace. That's good. Because double team is not fun. Wow, double Aerial Ace. Alright. Wow. Wow. Oh. Imagine that. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that outcome, like, just period. Out of, like, even just yeah. watching the runners play Sapphire. Yeah. Well, I, I also mean... happens to be at really high HP. A lot of the time, you know, you get hit by one and you're already in Torrent or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, air lace into Protect. Pelper. This pe Pelper's mean. <laughs> I credit. Okay. That... Oh god, how much does EQ do after Dragon Dance? Like 30... 28 to 34. 34, okay. yeah. I'm at 39. I'm gonna level up also, so I'm good. Yep. And like you said, this is like... 
this is really good HP. <laughs> eh, well. I would like to not take damage, so maybe I'll just crit again. No. Yeah, unfortunately this HP is bad because I'm out of potions. And I'm slower than a Sharpedo coming up, which will always kill me if it sees the kill. So I have to heal up to 70 HP and hope it hits me, basically. Or you could always get Nightshade. One out of two times. Yep. I still have the revive, so I don't even have to worry about double Nightshade, really. Oh, yeah. Just revive. Sixteen, got it. But e even if I get double nineteen into the revive, it's still bad because I'll be up at health anyway. So for those who don't know, Tate and Liza is by far the most lucky fight and run to kill you, and also the hardest fight to play. Um, and it's really dependent on what your HP is going into the fight, on how well the fight is likely to go. And so the best HP to be at is complicated, but if you're less than like fifty five or so, it's usually like good. That's what you want. But the, the Satu before the fight is faster than you, gets two chances to hit you, and knows Nightshade, which always does 37 damage. So it's you really can't set up your HP, you just have to hope to get something good. Alright, uh, Wang is now fighting that uh, evil swallow did not get the aerial ace turn one like wave warrior did i got a turn two as well <laughs> and turn two mockwing getting the uh, opposite getting <laughs> two double teams but yeah that's the standard fight unfortunately yeah swallow really really uh favors double team on those uh turns Unless it sees a kill with Aerial Ace. Um, yeah, Which one thing you, to... Yeah, you, you never want to be seen with a kill with Aerial Ace. Yeah. Um, yeah, one thing to note about oh. smart AI in this game, like if a if a trainer, fine? which like gym, le gym leaders, hmm. um, you, I think you'll level out of EQ range. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah it does 34 max. And you'll level out. Uh, but yeah, these these smart trainers will generally they can use kind of a variation of setup moves and attacking moves, um, or you know stat lowering or stat raising moves, etc. Um, really hoping for crunch here. Sorry if they up. if they no, you're good. If they see wow. a kill with a move, they will go for it. Um, Dude, look at my HP. Wow, perfect HP for Wave Warrior. Technically not quite perfect. You'd want, like, yeah. one more. But, <laughs> like, this is so good. Nightshade is 37, so... Oh, uh, I, I, I also level up. But, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah true. Um, yeah, the reason Wave is um, very happy about this HP um, is for the upcoming Tate and Liza uh, gem. Which I'm low enough that I have good HP for Tate Liza, but high enough that I still tank a Nightshade. Yep. Um, keeping good HP, which is generally low HP for Tate and Liza, is really, really important. Um, and it's really hard to do consistently just because of the variance in the Winona gym. It's not um, hard, it's impossible. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, these, it, these Pokemon are faster than you. They yeah. Sometimes they hit you, sometimes they don't. Yeah, there's just there's Oh I forgot to super repel. That's funny. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's not an no, issue. The, it's just funny. The Steven enter the house setup. Yeah. The time loss. Now you gotta drag that repel in there. Uh Mockwing is through Winona as well. Um he'll be heading to uh Aqua Hideout pretty soon. 
Um, but yeah, there's there's just so much RNG involved that it's not like, oh, I can just make the right plays and get good HP. Like, no, there's uh, there's always going to be a chance that something goes wrong. Um, for example, coming up on the Zatu, um, if you're going for very good runs, um, you're most of the time you're going to risk a one in nine chance to die. A little yep. bit less, but mo more or less a one in nine. Um, because the Zatu is faster than you, um, and it is it uses a random move every time. One of those moves is Nightshade, which will always do 37 uh, damage, because it has level 37. Um, the problem with this is, if you get two of those in a row, um, you will, you're gonna take a lot of damage, and you should basically... Ne you really don't want to go into that fight with that much HP, um, because if you take zero Nightshades, then you're gonna be at really high HP uh, for entering the Tate one as a fight. Yeah, I wish I had one yeah. more HP. Yeah. The, yeah, the trick with Tate and Liza is you want the um, the enemy Soul Rock and the enemy Lunatone, you want them to see a kill, like we, like we just mentioned a little bit ago, you want them to see a kill with one of those moves. Um, so that they don't go for a bad setup move. Um, All their moves like, that don't do damage are bad, so we want to be low enough health to bait them into using their damaging moves. Yep. And then we heal to uh, to not die to them, obviously. The, the reason Tan Liza is such a complicated fight is that the AI targets randomly. Yes. Um, so on top of you not having good control over what your HP is going into the fight, you, uh, you have no control over what they end up targeting at all so uh... yeah yeah so even if you go in with good hp you're like all right i'm gonna bait psychic from these pokemon i'm gonna heal and then they're gonna hit me and then i'm gonna surf and then i'm gonna heal again you you might just lose both 50 50s and then um soul rock might target your wingle uh, Lunatone might target your Wingle, and then you're like, well, shoot, I'm stuck at high HP, this is not what I wanted, Lunatone's gonna call Mind, I'm gonna cry, this is yeah. horrible. <laughs> um, yeah, Tate and Liza is Soul Rock on very Wingle. hard. Not great. Oh, that was wrong. I'm, I'm rusty. And punished, nice. Alright. It might, it might no, be hard just to reset yeah. this, honestly. But, uh, commentator curse right there sorry well no right. i misplayed <laughs> but uh yeah, that's also yeah. like the worst outcome yeah but also getting double yeah. target on them is not great we and now i'm at full hp which Masters means anything can happen on this fight. solar beam is good it's like a good, good. Uh, excuse me i'm not complaining wow. but like what yeah it's pretty very unlikely honestly for Lunatone to go for Psychic um, on Swamper. Okay, that's good. They won't kill. If I didn't miss, I could have rain danced on that turn. I would have just won. Yeah, Lunatone would have been a range, but yeah. Oh yeah, Abra gets a bunch of levels. <laughs> also. Yeah, yeah. This small part. It, it happens that sometimes. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm never punished. Wow. Okay. That actually went uh, really used well. The right move. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't dive. I got, I got very lucky getting psychic targeted at full HP. That almost never happens. And yeah, that's, um, you know, that wasn't really a great start to the fight, but in the end, it ended up looking like a pretty standard fight where you yeah. set up your X speed. Uh, you heal with your other Mon uh, to heal Swampert. You surf both of them, and then from Ooh, there, good. you generally you take out the uh, Soul Rock and then the Lunatone, um, or maybe both of them at the same time if you're lucky. Uh, Makwang through the Zatu uh, has good HP for Tate and Liza. I uh, will be entering the fight in a few seconds. Um, it's fairly close, but me down. me getting through Tate Liza first time makes it a lot harder to uh, mm -hmm. come back. 
Like, before Titan lies, anything can happen. Yes. Be real. Yeah, this is... It's basically anybody's race until, like... Um, yeah, until after yeah. that. Now, now that I'm through Titan Lies, I have a pretty solid lead. Even though, like, the time differential hasn't changed at all. The fact that I didn't die to Titan Lies, it changes everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, definitely not, like, a, a finished race by any means. This can not definitely close. still go... Um, I could mess up the ice puzzle. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that emerald muscle memory. I practiced the ice puzzle before this. <laughs> okay, good. The emerald pass? Young used the repel setup? I've never practiced it. Wave doesn't like that setup. I like it now. I used to not Well, like you guys it. developed it after I got records. I've like never used it. <laughs> True. Just patently false, because I was using it before then. I'm almost positive. Yeah, Ma Quang used has used it on his own for a long time, okay. but I, I didn't up. know about it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent argument. However, have you considered shut up? Oh, that is a crit. Okay. I'm gonna okay. surf and then energy powder for sure. Uh, I should see. Yeah, I have no loving slaves. I should save here. <laughs> I have the revive, but nothing alive in the back, so, uh... That is not a good solo rock roll. Ah! Definitely gonna see. Yeah. Oh, boy. Linitone Calm Mind. Uh, I really hope I don't get hit on turn one. This thing is annoying because you don't one-shot it, and it has kill AI, and it's faster than you, and it hurts a lot. Yep. Ah. Oh. Oh. So there goes my last route. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna buy hyper potions when I go back to uh, uh Yeah, hospital. it's not a bad idea for E4. Okay. This is not like me. just barely on oh, no, yeah. This is just uh, barely out of torrent. Not yeah. just barely, but it's no. Yeah, yeah. I'll mine this yeah, this isn't 45 is torrent. Three. Yeah. Uh, I might have to end up resetting this, actually. This is a 36% range. And, uh... It likes to use Scary Face and Swagger. Wow, got the range. Okay, we're good. Wow. Yeah, that Mighty Anna is so annoying with that. It's time. such a pain. Oh, and, like, no, what's no, really no, annoying no. is the Sharpedo... You saw me leave it up, like, one health. It's not a range, I'm pretty sure. Even a max roll doesn't kill. Okay. I Unless you're level correct. four or level thirty-nine, 39. Yep. which you get if you kill both things on Tate and Liza while you have no living slave. Yep. Exactly. Oh my gosh! I I actually have to reset this fight. I think. Unless there's okay, yeah. I got to reset. I don't know where the fight. trigger is. Yeah. This this Tate and Liza. Yeah, thing. that sucks. Oh, I didn't save before. TNL. I saved before the Zatu. Oh, oh that boy. sucks. That's yeah, yeah. See, that's that's how it works, right? You always think of these team fights as like, oh, these are the equalizers. No, it's always people who are winning who get the normal fights, <laughs> and people who are losing who fall further behind. It's every time. I guess Del Caddy was the equalizer for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That let me <laughs> catch way the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, this fight, you just hope he spams Scary Face. Yep, this is a similar concept to what uh, we saw in Archie 1, where you use a guard spec, um, and the AI doesn't really know how to play around it, so it'll just keep trying to drop your speed with Scary Face. Um, but because you can it also use Takedown happen. and Swagger, but I got very lucky I got neither of those. Usually you see at least one. Yeah. If you see both, then it can get really annoying. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I don't get crit, right? Alright. True, there is always the ice puzzle. Uh, <laughs> which Wave mentioned earlier. But he did practice. Yep. That's, listen, if you're an aspiring speedrunner out there, that tells you, you gotta practice. I've lost a world record pace run to messing up that ice puzzle. Yeah, it wasn't quite world record at that point, I don't think. 
but it was, you know, low 157, low to mid 157. Dang. So, yeah, it's... It's because I just come from Emerald, so I, was, I had the Emerald memory for it. I'll, if you mess up that ice puzzle, it's literally, literally faster to reset back to Kyogre and do the Manip over again than to fight the yeah. trainers. <laughs> yeah. You know, speed on this turn, then heal with Lunal's turn. Yep. Archie Master Tactician. His plan was to create a bunch of rain, and then it rained a lot, and I was like, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Do I need anything else besides papers? Maybe I'll buy an extra revive. Eh, yeah, revives don't help because you need the X items. Yeah. Let's buy right. 11 and like 11 full heals or something. No need to. Yeah, really. Just... Just cast form get off. Oh, I crit soul rock one shot. Ooh. Wow, that's actually really good. As long as you don't get. Light screen, but rain dance, so I'm fine. Oh, okay. Thing. Yeah, you like, should just hitting? bounce out. Uh. No. No. I was gonna. Oh wow. I uh, bet that's what, what's actually. happening. So he crit the soul rock. Um, turn one, so Lunatone went down to like two thirds HP or whatever. Lunatone I mean, light screened, cast form got off the rain dance, and then Surf barely didn't kill single target. Mm. Yeah, coming up is Kyogre Manip, where we okay. catch it with a great ball. I uh, did not get the Master Ball, so I'm going to be sitting here until I get it. <laughs> but the safety strat is you pick up the Master Ball in a in the Aqua Hideout, but it loses, what, like 30, 35 seconds, something like that, over first try ball, but it saves time over second try ball. Yeah. Assuming you're manipping stats, which you kind of need to for this route. All I'm saying is I think you have the time to go back and get the master. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go quiet here. Oh, and that's messed up Repel <laughs> This is, um, yeah, so coming up for Wave is, like you said, the Kyogre Manip. This is a very, very hard Manip. Um, it's a four-frame cluster for the stats, which isn't too bad, and so with the Master Ball, um, it's really, it's not too hard of a Manip. The problem is skipping the Master Ball which, like he said, can save like uh, almost 40 seconds compared to Master Ball, if you get it first try. Um, however, the Yola Ball, the Great Ball throw, is a three frame window, um, which also is going to move based on when you entered the battle. And not only that, it has two components to it because it not only does it matter um, when you press the bag input, it also matters when you press the ball input. Yeah, so you have to time both of them very right. consistently. Um, so there's so much that goes into it. And this is like, after this point, this is, um, the the end game is pretty easy. There's not a ton that can go wrong after this. So being on a good pace and getting to Kyogre Manip is very stressful um, for even like the most experienced runners. Um, so there's a lot of nerves that go on. Neat. Wave getting it. Sounds like a good outcome. I haven't checked stats yet, but... Yeah, he got the yellow ball. Fine. We'll see the stats based on the HP, generally, is how you check. I'm going to check the nature as well, just to be yeah. safe. Um, that, uh, that should be hasty. I don't think there's anything else that's 157 nearby. Yeah, unless you're way off. Um, yeah, okay, it's fine then. Yeah, there's All right. 156 HP, which can be a really good Kyogre, um, but it could also be one, a one frame late Kyogre, which isn't really runnable. Um, so you can get a little bit tricked by that. You might think, oh yes, I got the best Kyogre. This I'm gonna PB. I'm gonna beat the game, and then yeah. and then, and then Whiskash doesn't even come close to dying. Yeah. Like, 
Cool. Yeah. yeah, really good Kyogre Manip from, from where. Kyogre Manip has always been my strength in runs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's very consistent. Um, and yeah, like I was saying, um, very, very hard Manip, so. It is, it is, Ice puzzle time. Easy. This is this is the real scary part. Powder's <laughs> whatever, but uh right here we got the ice puzzle. Oh, I don't think I've ever missed this. I don't think I've ever messed this up in a run, but I've definitely come close. Um Especially if you, for whatever reason, you have your repel wear off in the middle of the puzzle, that can be pretty scary because it's like, oh, I don't yeah, that, that, and you got a whole it's bunch. It's not of hard nerves. at all. You're at walking speed. The yeah, movement is not hard. Yeah. You just, <laughs> yeah. Especially if you're like on a PB pace. Yeah. And you're you're nervous. It's like, oh god, please don't. <laughs> Yeah, it Please feels. Don't mess this yeah, up. it feels like you're like running or mock biking through it when you when you got the shakes. But yeah, I mean, uh, face value is actually pretty easy. Yeah, person gone on the love disc. Yep. Is Wally scary? No, it can just be annoying if you get confused multiple times. You have the person so getting confused once isn't an issue. But... Well, wait, Wally or Wallace? I don't. Know oh, Wall. Oh. Good point. Wally, uh, no, you one-shot everything. Yeah, well, Gardevoir can be a range, but... Ah, that's true, it is a range. So I have, I have the Hasty Kyogre, which is the fastest Kyogre top end, but also the most likely to miss ranges. It's like, the, it's the fastest top end, but also the least consistent. Um, I would have preferred the Mild, because Mild gets literally every single range. <laughs> Yep. Mild is, like, the consistent one. If you just want to finish off the run, you're on good pace. You don't want to die to anything or mm. miss, any, miss any ranges. Mild is the one to go for. But the reason Hasty is the fastest top end is because you can X-speed on this fight and outspeed Seeking, and then you don't need to X-speed on um, Drake. Drake. Yep. Uh, so you save, like, half a turn or something. Yeah, it's like five seconds or something like that. But uh, if you ever miss a single range, it, it's uh, you lose all the time. Yep. Yeah, because generally, if you miss a range, it's gonna put them into heal range because it's you know they're at like a few a few HP, um, definitely less than the heal range uh, threshold. And so then, and all these Pokemon have so much HP because they're so high level at this point in the game. And so that XP or the HP bar scrolling all the way back up to full is very, very slow and very annoying to wait for. Uh, but yeah, wave through Wallace without much of a hitch. Well, I got confused at the beginning, which is not what you want, but it's yeah, not a big deal. Whoops. Yeah. Never practiced that menu. <laughs> Yeah, do some quick shopping. All right, Mockwing is done with Archie 2, going on to Kyogre Manip. Again, very hard Manip. Oh. I should have bought some Max Repels as well, just to be safe. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> if you really yeah, mess something up in Victory Road or forget to save, maybe. That's only in like the case where you you mess up the strength rocks in the second room, and you have to go back out and reload the entire room. Yeah, mm. or if you get lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Interesting similarity between Sapphire and Emerald is the Victory Road is like almost identical. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty there's, sure. There's at the very same. end in Emerald. There's a uh, spinner pass that you have to do a run to bike in the dark. Oh yeah. 
Um, but so yeah, that, and then also the Wally fight in Emerald is at the start, but it's at the end in uh, Sapphire. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, there's some NPC differences, but the layout is very similar. So the layout's identical. Yeah, aside from those two things, those those just like more trainers in Emerald, basically. Yeah. Yeah, victory road movement is pretty hard. There's a lot of um, things you can bonk on. Um, you re you want to walk right, or you want to bike right in front of the NPCs generally. Um, if you can't talk to them, kind of like Wave just did, where he went right one tile and then went up. Um, that lets you prevent, that avoids the, um, having the NPCs walk towards you. Um, which the NPCs walking is slower than you biking, um, so it's faster overall to just have them stay in the same place, because you can get to them faster than they can get to you. his way through Cave of Origin, basically a few seconds away from Kyogre, getting the last HM of the run. And we'll hopefully see a good minute from him as well. And it's not reset. First try Kyogre. Uh, hopefully Mockwing has the stats again, we haven't seen that yet. Um, but getting the Yola Ball is generally a pretty good sign. Um, as long as as long as you get the Yola Ball, it usually means you know your your timing's good uh, <laughs> for the most part. Hey, and it's the same exact Kyogre as Wave Warrior, so we're gonna see yeah. um, pretty much identical strats for the rest of the run for both of them. Um, like Wave mentioned earlier, there's some small differences um, with each um, Kyogre uh, in terms of hitting ranges and then the Hasty being the fastest, you can skip an X speed uh, on Drake and actually use it on Wallace instead. Um, but we're gonna see the that same thing happen for it's an 81% range. Yep. Okay. Sea King earlier was also an 81% range. Guard of Heart coming up is also an 81% range. Yeah, you might be wondering why wouldn't, if it's a range, why wouldn't you just Ice Beam Cacturn? Um, we need all our Ice Beams. Yes. Um, you need, unless you have the Mild Kyogre, uh, you need as many ice beams as you can get um, because you have kind of the bare minimum to uh, take out all the Pokemon you need to um, with, you know, a couple things on Sydney and then Drake relies on ice beam very heavily. Um, with the mild Kyogre, that's not exactly the case because you can actually surf the Flygons on Drake. Um, so yeah, the one with the best special attack is the one that you get to Ice Beam Cacturn with. <laughs> yep, yeah. Counter Counterintuitive. Yeah, it, it feels a little backwards, 
Surf might honestly be guaranteed with the mild, I don't even know. Um, no clue. But, <laughs> um, Super effective yeah, is like a couple frames less text. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, then you get to surf those flygons with the mild. It, it would be a range with any of the other Kyogres. Um, but surfing those flygons is nice because surf is neutral damage, not super effective damage, so that saves that extra text box. Um, and it, yeah, it means that you can guaranteed kill that Cacturn with Ice Beam. Um, that Gardevoir... Oh, uh, missed the range. Let's go. Uh, does he have healing items? I have no idea. He has a super potion. Okay, so... Um, yeah, missing range into double team. Yeah, this Gardevoir loves spamming double team. Uh, can really be annoying, honestly, if you start missing and starts using even more double teams. Um, but yeah, wave adjusting to that pretty well. Um, using a waterfall instead of a surf, just because you kind of want to preserve your surfs for the rest of the Elite Four. Um, it doesn't really matter. I could have just surfed. But... Yeah, you, I, you generally can just waterfall stuff on Steven if you want, although it'd be slightly. Oh, faster. I missed the seeking range. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, fun fact about these badge check they only check for the sixth badge. Yep. It only checks for Winona's badge. Um, yeah, not to get too much into glitch, but that would be a, a huge discovery. Um, you could skip some of the other badges because you could just get into the Elite Four uh, as soon as you've finished Winona. Um, in Emerald, that is not the case, I believe. In Emerald, I think they check for... I don't know if they check for all the badges, but they check for different badges, I think. Hmm, interesting. I didn't know that. That I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me, but I think it is. It's been. Well, the, re the reason they check the sixth is because it's the only gym that you can skip and still make it to that point. Yeah. Oh, is Emerald also only one on it? Okay. They might be the same. It makes sense because it's the same idea. It's You need the yeah. first four gyms to unlock the fifth gym, you need the fifth gym for Surf, and then you need the seventh for Dive, and the eighth for Waterfall. So. All right, this Sharpedo really sucks if you miss the range. 88%. All right. This Sharpedo can Swagger and Scary Face, I believe? Something like that, yeah. Which is very annoying. You're either going to be slower than the rest of the stuff, um, or you're going to have to spend a turn to heal. And generally, if you're spending the turn to heal, it'll probably just Scary Face you that turn. Sydney is the most trivial, because aside from that Sharpedo range, you just one-shot everything. Although, I guess with the Hasty Drake is the simplest. You, you don't have to X-Speed, you just Ice Beam. <laughs> yeah. Actually... Oh, I saw the Super Potion. So this fight, if you're mild, then the second Dusclops is like a 40-something percent range to die in one hit. That might only be on the old route. But, uh... Oh, uh, with the rare candy. Yeah. Uh, we just don't deal with that. We we do a little bit of chip damage with uh, Shockwave and then finish it off with Surf. Yep. Uh, yeah, we mentioned Shockwave, like, an hour ago. Um, for, yeah, for Kyogre. Uh, not wanting to sell that because you can see it being used. Um, it is essential for both Wallace and Glacia. Yeah. If only we could get Thunder in a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> we might. Yeah. If Phoebe would still crazy. be awkward because it might get overwritten with Hail at some point, you'd have to... Yeah. I don't know if Thunder one-shots things without setup. Yeah, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, that wall rain on Glacia is incredibly bulky, um, requires some setup. And then, um, yeah, the as you set up, a lot of the Pokemon on Glacia have, um, have hail. And so the AI, the AI will use hail if it's another weather condition already happening. 
Um, yeah, guaranteed. So, yeah, so it'll always um, use hail. And rain, unfortunately, does not boost shockwave, which is the move you need to use. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Because um, you can't hit these really with anything else, because it, it resists surf for this ice beam. Um, but yeah, if we could get like Thunderbolt or Thunder, it might be a lot easier, just because Shockwave is only 60 base 60 power. 60 base power, yeah. Um, not that great, and yeah, it doesn't get like a boost in the rain or anything. It's not Stab, Kyogre's water type only. Um, so yeah, it's it struggles a little bit. Um, for sure. Glacia is the only fight that's actually bad for Kyogre. Um, yeah. It's... We need to have three X specials in order to have enough special attack to one-shot the wall of rain. Yep. Uh, also, this barely is a range. It's really bad if I miss it. Yes. Um, but yeah, I, I need to do the setup. Alright, I got it. Uh, and then... I get Hail and then Body Slam, and Body Slam is 30% to Paralyze, and then it's just really bad from there. I can't finish the fight while Paralyzed. Yep. I need to be faster than things. Um, yeah, it's really not good to, like, try to two-shot the Wall Rain. Um, it has Sheer Cold, which is a one-hit KO move, um, and it is three levels higher than you, so it's got, like, a 33% chance to hit uh, if it uses Sheer Cold. Um, so risking a 1 in 3 to just kill the run on wall rain would be pretty sketchy. Uh, so, so we I, really... I'm, I made it pass without getting paralyzed. So that's that's the fight done, basically. I need yeah. to have one more X item, but I can do that on uh, Glalie, which will use Shadow Ball, which is yep. totally fine. Yep. Yeah, Shadow Ball, even with a crit, is not going to kill from this HP, even after the Hail Chip. You know, some optimizations of you don't want to set up an X item on the turn after the hail ends, because then they'll just hit hail right back up. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's better to set up the last one on the second uh, Celio, I think that's called. Um, yeah. yeah, yep. Which, in order to avoid getting hailed again, which is usually fine. It uses Blizzard instead of Body Slam, so it's only 10% to status yeah. you instead of 30 yeah, I actually didn't know about that until... Um, yeah, if you get yeah, paralyzed recently. exactly <laughs> once yes. on uh, CLEO, then you want to set up the third X item. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, actually, uh, I... Unfortunately, well, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, I basically won at this point. It's, it breaks a free fight, and then I'm going to heal full, and... Yeah. Champ is also yep. a free fight. Yep. If you heal, the is just too OP. Even, yeah. There's really nothing that can happen. You might get toxic, and then you yeah. Get if you, I would actually like to not heal here because this HP is actually really good, but it yeah. can die to a crit. I'm pretty yep. sure. Uh, and so it's just it's not worth it. It's if yeah, you're at full health, you're more likely to get um, toxic. Yeah. So you lose a turn, but you also cannot die. So. Should I go in at this HP for the fans without saving? <laughs> Would be dead to an early right? Make it interesting. Reset back to Glacia if I die. still might win. Oh, yeah. If, if you save the Glacia, you win. Yeah. <laughs> yes, no. Yeah, full, full ten. Ten. Let's do it. <laughs> I also... Uh, no, I'm hasty. Yeah, crit would kill me. Yeah. It does, like, high it, 30s it, or around 40. Yeah, I was going to say it could be a range with a crit, but... Actually, I, I'm pretty sure it's a range of some sort, but it's probably more likely to kill me than not. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm pretty sure it does... Uh, it depends on your nature. It does 46 max to hasty, I think. So it'd be Wow. Really okay, yeah, I'm just Omega dead then. Yeah. If, uh, if it crits. Yeah, we're not dying. We're good. Yeah, that, sh that sheer cold can be a pain. We saw Icy recently have a really good run die to that due to a misclick. Um, yeah, really, 33%? Yeah, like Shen said, 
being a speed run in the title raises that percentage. Being on PB pace also raises that percentage to like 90. <laughs> yeah. Also, isn't even risky. It's not even guaranteed to use an attacking move. We can just use spikes, yeah. which does nothing. Oh, but yeah. It's, it's annoying on PB attempts because it's like, oh, I really don't want to die to champ, but I can't yeah. justify playing around this. I was. I was yep. struggling with whether or not to heal in my run because I was so done with Sapphire and I didn't want to die. Yeah. But I got spikes. Uh, go in the bag, please. Alright, last real move of the run spikes. for Wave. And, yep. Spikes. And that that should be GG. I now mash A. Yep, six surfs. Mashes A. One shots everything. There are no ranges. Unless his. I won't even say anything unless something an SP act dies. God happens. Yeah. <laughs> I have um, the GameCube controller right there, so that's. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much GG's for Wave. Um, Mockwing is now on Sydney, so, you know, first <laughs> fight of the E4 versus last. You fight had of the E4. some actually insane fights. Yeah. Yeah. I would say. Is, I also. Messed up by not saving in front of TNL before the first fight, but that yeah, almost lost like an extra. Like minute. your Del Caddy was insane. Yep. I thought I had a really bad Del Caddy just in my past. <laughs> in in your previous PB, yeah. Yeah. Did you save for that Del Caddy Mockway? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I was gonna say yeah, I might. I just, did, <laughs> but I probably reset. shouldn't have because I had the revive. Yeah, I saw a wave go for it, but I wasn't sure if Mockwing did. Yeah, there should be like a 206 something for wave, which is honestly a really solid race time. How long is the post champ stuff? I want to say. I want to say it's like a minute ish. Let me check. Yeah, it's a little over a minute. That's why I'm curious. <laughs> uh, Different for every game. I can never keep them all straight. It is a minute 50-ish. Oh, yeah. 50? Well, oh, minutes? wait. No, that's glitched. Uh, glitchless is like a minute 14. <laughs> ah, it's going to be like a 206, 02. Yeah, very close to the sub 206. I only died to Aqua Pooch. That was my only death this run. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, a very solid run from Wave. That is a that's a really solid race time. Uh, Mockwing getting yeah just confused by almost everything <laughs> that can confuse <laughs> him. Uh, both meta tights. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like that was your Wallace. Get confused there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And missed the range on Seeking. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, really? It was... Yeah. I think the yeah, Delcaddy really flipped the... Flipped I the was going to fade the black if anyone was actually doing that. Oh, yeah, sorry. The, the mods are always great on making sure that the timer stops properly. They, mm -hmm. they they seem to know all these games like when it stops and everything's it's yeah huge shout outs to uh, the tech people running this stuff mm -hmm. um, for knowing knowing when the run ends um, and how to yeah, right. how unfortunately that. I gotta go so uh, I'm gonna right. right now wave. Right, I wish wish to watch the end but uh, good luck bye thanks for being here wave. Sure. I forgot if it was mentioned earlier, but on basically all but the mild Kyogre on that last Dusclops on Phoebe, uh, the Shockwave Surf is actually a range. Like, mm -hmm. It's like 96% or something like that. The only person I've ever seen miss it is Wanli. <laughs> I have missed it once. I don't know if it was on a PB pace, but I have missed it before. Yeah, it's very unlikely. Yeah, we gotta see the E4 again. Due to some... some luck that occurred. 
but it's okay. Basically at the end now. Yeah, honestly, this was a very close race until I'd say, like, yeah, the, the Norman the Norman stuff really um, kind of snowballed. But for the first hour, at least, I would say it was very close. Yeah, it, it definitely was, like, super neck and neck. Ah. Unfortunate paralysis. This is a little bit... And then I actually have to heal this. Sure. Yeah, I think with the the hail, it's gonna end up doing too much damage over time. I think it's this is gonna be annoying after heal here in first para, and then I think I just also spec here too mm. to try and avoid the second hail. Yeah, you could. I had yeah. heal. Or maybe you could you could have shockwave the Celio here and then healed on the second one. Sure, we don't. Okay. Okay, crit, but no para. And the hail is gone, so no more of those annoying uh, text boxes or chip damage. Uh, and that should be Glacia done. If I can hit a range. <laughs> wait, what? Is, is there a range wait. here? Oh, wait, no, it's Glalie 1 that's a range. Yeah. Got through the first range on Glalia, so I think you're good. According to best possible time, I'm only gonna barely come over estimate. Just barely. Even despite, like, literally so many things going wrong. Yeah, very, very close. You just start spamming ice cream. Yeah. Yep, with the, with the hasty. As we saw earlier, yeah, this uh, having the hasty Kyogre makes Drake really a walk in the park. It's really pretty easy, uh, even without that, um, but X-speeding on the Altaria can sometimes be annoying. Um, I think it can use Dragon Breath, which has a 30% paralysis chance, um, but generally it's just going to go for takedown, um, which at this HP... Could maybe kill with the crit, but generally uh, it won't. And yep, having the hasty, he's gonna go for ice beam on these fly guns. It's I forget what the exact range is for surf. Um, it's 81%, I think. Um, yeah. So you can save, you can save some time going for that if you really want to save like a couple seconds um but obviously not really worth the risk um yeah i i think they have sandstorm maybe i don't even know what these flygons have because you really don't want to give them a turn um to do anything yeah well, so the first one does have sandstorm which would be annoying for uh, taking more chip damage. Um, also has fly, which is even slower because it wastes a whole nother turn. Um, and then the, the second one actually has sand attack, which is honestly even more annoying because then you start I, missing and yeah. I've seen the sand attack once on like a very uh, rusty run where I what did I do? I, I used the X speed on Wallace on a Kyogre that was not easy. Uh, yeah. Alright, 
I wouldn't heal since no reason not to. Let's just finish this. Okay, I yeah. didn't get toxic. I was worried that I'd also get toxic because my health was high. Very nice. Yeah, coming up next will be Shenanigans Run. Um, this is GG's for Mockwing. Just like uh, Wave, he's just gonna spam Surf. Nothing can stand in the way of Kyogre from this point. Uh, and he's just gonna mash to the Hall of Fame. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see Pokemon Blue catch them all. Glitchless Classic, which means none of these crazy RNG manipulations that we saw in this run to get the perfect Kyogre and get him in the Great Ball. It's just gonna be throwing balls, hoping that the Pokemon get in, hoping that you find the Pokemon in the first place. Uh, that's gonna be like a seven or eight hour run, so definitely check that out if you want to uh, stick around for that. Um, if you want to go back to the old days of Gen 1, uh, I know for some of you out there, this Gen 3 stuff might be too modern, you know, we actually have colors, uh, you know, all that gross stuff. Um, so yeah. Stay tuned for that. Um, Mockwing now taking out the final Pokemon of the champion. Very good champion music, by the way, in my opinion. I'm a big fan of the, the music here. Yeah, that's a good theme. Boomer mentality. Listen, I need my bright colors and fun sounds <laughs> in my Pokemon games or else I'll fall asleep, okay? I'm and I need my subway surfers underneath the game while I'm playing. <laughs> that's like the that's kinda like the running gag in uh, PSR is like, oh where's my side content? We have to be watching somebody else doing some sort of Pokemon speedrun while we're doing our own speedrun because, of course, these games are just too easy. We, we gotta be doing something else on the side. It's kind of jarring. Like, the first Pokemon games I ever played were, were Generation 3 games, and then I eventually, like, a, few, a couple of years after that, played, like, some of the Gen 1 games, and I was just like, this is, like, it, as a kid at the time, I was like, this is so much worse. Like, what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> and that is time for Mockwing as well. 215. Within the within the minute mark of the estimate. We're pretty yeah. happy with that, honestly. I would I would call that a success. Yeah, for, for all that went wrong to still have like basically been right around the estimate, like I'm happy. Yep. Yeah. Honestly very solid. Played really well that the uh, second try Mudkip is really good first try kyogre is really really good um especially in a race environment like this where it's kind of stressful eh, all good there was only luckily there was only like one actual execution error that like caused an optional but like everything else went pretty smoothly and like that's what i care like more about like the rng is the rng it's gonna be yep different, wild, like, very bad run-to-run, -run, but, like, that happens, is what it is. Happy to show off this game. Really love yeah. Sapphire. It's, like, it's grown on me ever since, like, a year ago when I started running it. Yeah, this is a really cool category. It's really brutal at times, but when you when you do get one of those good runs and you do everything correctly, uh, it's, it's really fun. Um, Definitely check it out if you're interested. Um, there's some great beginner guides out there um, if you kind of want to avoid some of the the super risky stuff and play things a little safer. Um, there's some really nice information about that um, in the Gen 1 through 3 Discord or on the speedrun.com page. Um, so if you're interested at all in running this game, definitely check that stuff out. put it any better. Thank you for commentating, Blue Magma. 
Thank you very much. But I'm sure him, him and I both really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun, so yeah, thank you for having me. Appreciate it.